solving the equation first. Okay, find the value of x in this equation. We are solving for x, but the problem is the position of this x is a uh, is an indice. Okay, it's an indice. So how do we solve for those x? So to solve this type of question, I need the same base on both sides. Okay, I need same base on both sides. Okay. I don't mind what kind of the base is that, but I need both sides have the same base. Okay, let's have a look. What's 0.5? And I need to write things in fractions, okay? I need to write things in fraction because fraction is easier to see. So 0.5 is a half. A half x equals to 2. Okay, I have a half and I have 2. Then what I can write is a half equals to 2 to the power of negative 1. And then to the power of x equals to 2. Okay. A half is base 2 to the power of negative 1. Then I can say 2 to the power of negative x equals to 2. Negative x, that's 2 to the power of 1. Negative x equals to 1. The 2, if you have the same base, then the power of 1 must be the same. They have the same base, the power must be the same. Then x equals to negative 1. The x equals to negative 1. Okay, the next one. The next one, I would divide 3 on both sides. First, you have 2 to the power of 2x equals to 0 0.25. Okay, and we all know that 0 0.25 equals to a quarter. Okay, a quarter can become 2. Okay, a quarter can become 2. So how a quarter can become 2? First, let's write a quarter into 1 over 2 to the power of 2. Okay, 1 over 2 to the power of 2. Then 2 to the power of 2x equals to 2 to the power of negative 2. Okay, because this 2 is the denominator, 1 over, what 1 over become is negative indices. Okay, it's negative 2. Then 2x equals to negative 2, x equals to negative 1. You want to make the same base. You'll try your best to make the same base. Then let's then equalize the power and then you solve for x. Next one is 1 over 2 to the power of x. I can say that's 2 to the power of negative x. Okay, 1 over 2 to the power of x, there is the negative indices, so it's 2 to the power of negative x. Equals to 8. 8 is 2 to the power of 3. Okay, 8 is 2 to the power of 3. So negative x equals to 3, x equals to negative 3. will be interesting okay you have 3 and 4 on this side and you have 64 and 27 on this side you know 27 can be written as 3 to the power of 3 right 3 to the power of 3 and then 64 is 4 to the power of 3 it can be 2 to the power of 6 but you don't want write in 2 to the power of 6 you want to have base 4 to match the previous the to match the left hand side so 4 times 4 is 16, 16 times 4 is 64. So I can have 3 over 4, 2x plus 1, equals to 4 over 3, to the power of 3. Okay, one side is 3 over 4, the other side is 4 over 3. Okay, then you flip your fraction. Okay, you flip the fraction. So when we will flip the fraction is when we have power of negative 1. So what I can have is 3 over 4 to the power of negative 1, then to the power of 3. Because 3 to the power 3 over 4 to the power of negative 1 will give you 4 over 3, right? 
3 over 4 to the power of negative 1 will give you 4 over 3. You flip the fraction. And then to the power of 3. So 3 over 4 to the power of 2x plus 1 will equal to 3 over 4 to the power of negative 3. You times the power. Therefore, 2x plus 1 will equal to negative 3. 2x equals to negative 4. x equals to negative 2. Next one, 2 to the power of 3x minus 1 equals to 64. Okay, 2 to the power of 3x minus 1 equals to 64. 64 is 8 times 8, right? 8 times 8 will be 64. And each 8 will have 2 to the power of 3. 2 to the power of 3. So that is 2 to the power of 6. Okay, 2 to the power of 6. 64 is 8 times 8. 8 is 2 to the power of 3, and then times another 2 to the power of 3 will be 2 to the power of 6. Then 3x minus 1 equals to 6, 3x equals to 7, x equals to 7 over 3. Okay, the last one, 7 over 4 to the power of 1 minus x and the next side, the right hand side is 4 over 7. So you need to find the reciprocal of that. So you need to flip your fraction. So when you flip your fraction, you need to put a negative 1. Because 7 over 4 to the power of negative 1 will give you 4 over 7. You want to make the same base, which is 7 over 4. Therefore, it needs to put a negative 1 onto the power. So 1 minus x equals to minus 1, x will equal to 2. Okay, that's how you solve this type of equations. You definitely will have this type of question in your test. Okay, you definitely have this type of question. It, it, won't, it won't be give you directly like solve for this. You will ask to set up an equation first and then solve for the x. Okay, set up the equation first and then solve for the x. Um, if you can go to the last page. Uh, well, well, the last page is a little bit, a little bit different. I will go through this first and then come back. Okay, page sixteen. Okay, page sixteen first. Okay, page sixteen. Rational indices. Okay, what is rational indices? So, rational numbers are the numbers can put into the fraction form. Uh, fraction form. Basically, rational indices is like fresh, fractional indices. Okay, fractional indices. So, x to the power of 3 over 2. Okay, that's a fractional indice. So, numbers written with fractional indices can also be written use a root sign. Okay, a root sign. Okay, I'll just give you an example. I'm not going through all of this uh rules with you because you have learned that in year 9. But I just want to tell you, what is a to the power of m over n equals to? Okay, what is a to the power of m over n equals to? So, what's the numerator and what's the denominator is doing? Okay, the numerator is a power. Okay, a numerator is the power, uh, the numerator is the power. So, it's a to the power of m. Then the denominator, what's the denominator doing? Denominator is a root, n of nth root. 
Okay, it's the nth root. Or you can do take the nth root first and then to the power of n. Okay, you can put the power first and then take the nth root, or you can take the nth root first and then to the power of n. Okay, so that is what the fraction is doing. Okay, that is what the fraction is doing. Okay, what is a to the power of minus m over m? You have a negative indice. As I said, when you see the negative indice, you just write 1 over without thinking. Okay, negative indice just 1 over. 1 over what? 1 over the thing without the indices, without the negative sign. And that just equals to 1 over nth root of a to the power of m. So the negative indice is still make 1 over for you. Okay, and m over n is to the power of m and take the nth root. Okay, take the nth root. Let's do some examples. Express the following in the index form. Okay, put the following in the index form. You have a power of 2 and you take the fifth root. That is x to the power of 2 on 5. Okay, to the power of 2, then 2 is the numerator. And root, root 5. Okay, 5 is the denominator. Okay, the next one will be a little bit tricky. Okay, the next one is a little bit tricky. With the bracket and without bracket are totally two different things. Okay, the power of 2 is only to the t. Okay, t to the power of 2. But the 10 hasn't been to the power of 2 at all. So what you will have is, okay, that equals to 6 root of 10 times 6 root of t squared. You separate those two numbers first. And then that is 10 to the power of 1 on 6 times t to the power of 2 on 6. Then that's 10 to the power of 1 on 6 times t to the power of 1 on 3. Okay. Because the 10 hasn't been squared, so it's not 10t to the power of 2 on 6, it's only the t is to the power of 2 on 6. But the 10 is actually with 1 on 6. So basically it's like that. It's 10t squared to the power of 1 on 6. It's 10t squared to the power of 1 on 6. Then that equals to 10 to the power of 1 on 6 times t to the power of 1 on 3. Okay, next one. Next one is 8 to the power of m to the power of 4. So it's 8 m to the power of 4, the whole thing to the power of 1 on 8. Because it's an 8th root, so the power must be 1 on 8. Then I'll have 8 to the power of 1 on 8 times m to the power of 4 over 8. That is 8 1 on 8 times m to the power of a half. The next one. The next one, the 2 is outside. So 2 is just a single number 2. And g to the power of 3 times h to the power of 5. Then take a fourth root. Then it's 1 on 4. Okay, it's 1 on 4. Then it's 2 times g to the power of 3 on 4 times h to the power of 5 on 4.
That's example one. How you can put the search form back to the index form. Example two will be express the following in the search form. Okay, you have the index form and you want to put that into the search form. So two to the power of three on four. Okay, what I will have is two to the power of three and then take a false root. Two to the power of three and then take a false root. Three to the power of four on seven. Three to the power of four, then take a root seven. Or I can say that is also true if I take a root of seven first and then to the power of four. Okay, both of them are correct. Okay, I can power that first and then take the nth root, or I can take the nth root first and then have the power. Okay, 11 to the power of negative 1 on 10. When you see the negative indices, without any thinking, you write 1 over. Okay, 1 over what? 1 over, take off this negative, you, what do you have? You have 11 to the power of 1 on 10. So that is what you have. That equals to 1 over, take the 10th root of 11 and then to the power of 1 so you don't need to write to the power of 1 okay the last one have negative is 1 over 1 over what? 1 over 7 to the power of 2 on 5 without having the negative sign. And then that's 1 over 7 to the power of 2 first and then take a fifth root. Or take the fifth root first and then to the power of 2. Let's have a look at the next exercise. Example three. Okay, I want to simplify the following. Okay, simplify the following. Okay, m two to the power three divided by m two to the power five. Okay, even though it's rational indices, it still follow the basic index law. You have the same base, you divide them, you subtract the power. So you have m to the power of 2 on 3, subtract 2 on 5. That is m, 15 on 10, subtract 6 on 15. That equals to m, 4 to the power of 15. Okay, that is s, 3 over 2 times 4 over 7. That is S 6 over 7. That is 1, that is 2. Okay, this one equals to a to the power of 2 on 3 times 3 over 4 divided by b to the power of 4 on 3 times 3 over 4. That equals to a to the power of a half divided by b. So I can also write that into a to the power of a half, b to the power of negative one. Yeah, I can also write in that way, or I can keep either this answer or the bottom one. Okay. 
Next one, the whole thing inside takes a third root. Okay, take a cube root. So it's eight x to the power of three over twenty-seven, then to the power of a third, then to the power of a third. That's two x over three. Okay, that's two x over three. Because what is eight? Eight is two to the power of three times x to the power of three divided by three to the power of three. Okay, the whole thing here take a third. So the a third times with every power that will become power of one. So you have two x over three. Next one will equals to one to six to the power of a third, m six times a third times n three times a third. Okay, what is one to six? Okay, six times six give you thirty six. Thirty six times another six is two one six. So two one six is six to the power of three, and then to the power of a third times. That's m to the power of two times n. That is six m squared n. Three times the third equals to one, so that you have six m to the power of two and n to the power of one. Next one is thirty-two to the power of one fifth and to the power of x to the power of ten. So thirty-two to the power of one fifth over x to the power of ten to the power of one fifth times one fifth. So what is thirty-two? Thirty-two. Okay, four times eight is thirty-two. Two is four is two to the power of two times two to the power of three. So you have two to the power of five. And then to the power of one fifth of x to the power of two. That will give you two over x to the power of two. And I can say that's two x to the power of negative two. Okay, the next one. Evaluate the following. Evaluate the following. Okay, I will just evaluate a couple of ways for you, and you do the rest. Okay, as I said, you can do add the power this first, and then take the root. Or it will be the same as if you take the root first, and then you power that. Which one you actually use? If you, are, for example, in this case. Which one you choose, first or second? Second. You don't want to increase one to five by like to the power of four first, to, like increase that really large, and then take the third, like the cube root. It will be too difficult to calculate. So normally, okay, normally, it will be quicker if you take the root first, and then to the power of four. Okay. One to five is five times five times five gives you one to five. Okay, so take a cube root. You have three things in the same, so you have five inside. That's five to the power of four. So it's six to five. Twenty-five times twenty-five is six to five.
I'll do the first, uh, I'll do this one as well. You can do the third one here. So that's 16 to the power of negative of that. So it's 1 over 16 to the power of 7 over 4. Okay. It's 1 over 16 to the power of 7 over 4. That will equal to 1 over to the fourth root of 16, then to the power of 7. Then to the power of 7. That will equal to 1 over 16. 16 equals to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 equals to 16. So 4 twos. Okay, so take a fourth root, you have 2. So it's 2 to the power of 7. Then you will say it's 2 to the power of negative 7. So 2 to the power of negative 7. to this one minus 27 to the power of a third okay minus 27 what you can do for minus 20 you can't take a uh, minus square root of minus 27 if it's a square root you can't have negative number but this is a cube root I can't have a negative number so what I can do to this one is okay that equals to cube root of negative 27 so what is negative 27 gives you? It's negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3. Because that 3 negative 3 times together will give you a negative 27. Then you take a cube root that just gives you negative 3 here. Look at the last one. What that will equals to? What what is a quarter do? What what a quarter do here? If I can put that in the uh, third form, what I should write? Four. four. Okay, four root of negative twelve. Okay, this is called an even root. Okay, that's an even root. That's a 4, okay, not 3, not 5. Cannot have negative numbers for that. Okay, if it's an even root, you can't have negative numbers. For example, you can't find negative root negative 4, okay? That you can't find negative root 4. Then, that's a second root, right? The, to the power of 2, uh, a half. But if you have 4, okay, you have 4 here, that's an even root as well. You can't have negative number. So this question is no solution. Or you can say it's undefined. You can't have that. That's not true. Okay, you can't have that. That's not true. Okay, basically you can't have answers. If you have an even root, okay, you can't have a negative number inside. Can't have a negative number inside. But that will be different if you have a odd root. Okay, that is fifth root negative 32 that's perfectly fine because it's an even not even it's an odd okay odd number you can have negative or you can have positive so negative 32 is negative 2 to the power of 5 and to the power of 1 fifth okay negative 2 times 2 times 2 is 2 times Another 2 is 16 times 2 is 32. And you want negative, so you need a negative sign. So negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. That will give you negative 2. So 
remember, remember, if you take negative a of nth root, where n belongs to odd number. Okay, where n belongs to odd number, that will equals to minus of that. You can directly take the negative out and then find the nth root of the positive number. But you need to make sure it's an old number, okay? Old root. The previous one. So you have 4 on 25, then to the power of 5 over 2. So if it's 5 over 2, I will take a square root first. Okay, I'll take a square root first. And then the whole thing to the power of 5. That equals to 2 on 5, then to the power of 5. I'm not going to evaluate that. That will be 32 over 5 to the power of 5, but I'll just keep it like that. the table complete the table if it's 9 to the power of 1 on 9 I want to write that into the third form that will be 9 root of 9 is that possible to simplify yes or no if yes what the answer should be what the answer should be if it's yes can't find out answer because nice root. Okay, how I can simplify nice root? I need the same number times together nine times inside that. So for example, I need to have two times two times two times two times two. Okay, that's five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, two, four, six, eight, nine of nice root. And that will give me two out. Okay, I need nine same number times together of nice root and have a two out. But for this one, you only take three times three of nice root. There are not enough three times together. So I cannot simplify for this question. I cannot simplify for this question. Okay, 32, square root of 32. Then that's 32 to the power of a half. 32 to the power of a half. Then that will equals to square root of 16 times square root of 2. That equals to 4 root 2. That is 4 root 2. Okay, cube root of 27, then to the power of 2. Then that will be 27, 2 over 3. Okay, 27 to the power of 2 over 3. You have the power on the top and then the root at the bottom. So that equals to cube root of 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. Then the whole thing to the power of 2. Then you have 3 here to the power of 2. That gives you 9. The next one is 8 over 1 to 5 to the power of negative a third. So negative a third is 1 over. Okay. Cube root of 8 over 1 to 5. So it's 1 over that fraction to the power of a third. So to the power of a third is the same as cube root of that number. That 
n equals to 1 over cube root of 2 times 2 times 2 over 5 times 5 times 5. That equals to 1 over 2 to the power of 5. And you times 5 on both top and bottom to get rid of the denominator 5. So it's 5 over 2. It's 5 over 2. Two five six over six to five to the power of one false. Okay, that's a false root of that. Okay, six to five equals to twenty five times twenty five. Two five six divided by four Okay two five six is four times sixty four and sixty four is eight times eight that's two to the power of two two to the power of three two to the power of three then in total is two to the power of eight okay two to the power of eight Then take a false root. That equals to a false root of. Let's write in this way: two to the power of eight of five to the power of four. Then to a root of one on four. That gives me two to the power of two over five. That is four on five. That is four on five. Okay, that's how you can deal with the rational indices. Okay, that's how you can deal with the rational indices. And if you can go to the last page, if you can go to the last page. Okay, I'll just show you a couple of examples. There most of them are pretty much the same as what we have done at the beginning. Uh, let's just have a look at this one and this one. Okay, 9 to the power of x equals to 1 over root of 27, uh, take the cube root. So what is 9 and 27? 9 and 27 can all make a base of 3. Okay, 9 and 27 can all have a base of 3. So it's 3 to the power of 2. Then to the power of x equals to 1 over. Okay, what is 27? 27 is 3 to the power of 3. And then you take a cube root of that. So that's 3 to the power of 2x equals to 1 over 3. 3 times a third equals to 1. So 1 over 3. So 3 to the power of 2x equals to 3 to the power of negative 1. Because a third gives you 3 to the power of negative 1. Then 2x equals to negative 1. x equals to negative 1 half. Okay, 2 to the power of x equals to fourth root of 32. So 2 to the power of x equals to 32 is 2 to the power of 5. And then you take a fourth root. Okay, 32 is 2 to the power of 5. 
and then you take a fourth root, so it's 5 over 4. Therefore, x equals to 5 over 4. Okay, the bottom two. Okay, 6 to something equals to 1. 6 to something equals to 1. 6 to what equals to 1? 6 to the power of what will give you 1? 0. Okay, 6 to the power of 0 will give you 1. So that's 6 to x minus 6 equals to 6 to the power of 0. So 2x minus 6 will equal to 0. Then x equals to 3. Okay, the next one, what I can do to the next? 3 to the power of x minus 2 equals to 9 times 9 to the power of 1 minus x. 3x minus 2 equals to 3 to the power of 2 times 3 power of to the 2, 1 minus x. x minus 2 equals to 2 plus 2, 1 minus x. x minus 2 equals to 2 plus 2 minus 2x. 3x equals to 8, uh, 6. x will be 2.